What's going on, everybody? It's me, Joel Simmons. We're here with the first broadcast of It Starts With Me, Tenacity Foundation being the chief organization for this thing. And we're glad to have uh, to have Anna in the background doing her thing like she always does, making up these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thumbnails. So, Happy New Year to everybody. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is pretty cool. So what we're going to be doing in this It Starts With Me program, this podcast, is we really want to get out there and start speaking with people, both people who have uh, made it successfully in their careers as entrepreneurs or have entrepreneurs or those that are struggling, you know, um, young people, high schoolers that are going to college and from college going into a new career lifestyle people that are suffering from difficult relationships and working through that and those that have uh, triumphed over difficult relationships. So we're like digging in there, looking for people all over the world who can experience what it is to have a phenomenal, uh, inspirational transition. That's what this is all about. It's all about that transition, that transitional phase you know, and the hope is that somebody listening to this podcast will be inspired by the stories that they hear, the stories that they uh, that are revealed, and the life lessons that are caught and captured uh, over the radio waves. And I guess it's not so much radio waves anymore over the podcast waves. <laughs> so that's what we're doing here, and. I guess, you know, let's start off with my story, since this is the first episode, you know, um, and there we, we do actually have probably about 12 or 15 uh, individuals that are kind of waiting. We got, you know, we got firefighters, we've got, uh, we've got entrepreneurs, we have career persons, uh, we have people that are on different continents that are going to be on the show, but it all starts with me, so let's get at it, all right? Anyway, um, I'm Joel Simmons, and uh, no, actually one more thing for groundwork, just remember that this will be live streamed as well every Wednesday at 12.30 uh, Eastern, and it'll be streamed on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. You can also listen to this on Spotify and Anchor, and uh, we're waiting. Uh, Apple should be up and running soon. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so you know, for me, this was um, this is a pretty serious endeavor uh, for me to actually be a part of this program and this thought process because it starts with me. Uh, and the, the Tenacity Foundation actually is, it's my brainchild out of the different things that I have been through over the last few years. So I ran into an uh, extremely difficult time uh, where I had a family member who was up and leaving, my oldest daughter. And in that time, she started to develop a mindset that was uh, different than mine. And that mindset actually guided her into a new pathway. But being my first uh, daughter, um, I wasn't really sure on how to really embrace this whole philosophy. You know, all her days, I had been training her training her to be able to do the things that she was now doing, training her to be independent, training her to um, make decisions on her own. And I even taught her how to make decisions that would even go against me in the case where she needed to explore her individuality. 
So <clears throat> towards the end of that time, she began, she came of age and she ended up making a uh, decision that would draw her away from me and actually draw her into uh, a different state. And that right there just kind of like hit me so hard. Um, I mean, as a father, I just, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't, <laughs> I'd been so busy training her to be prepared for everything. I don't know. I guess I didn't train myself to be prepared for any, for this type of, uh, this type of, uh, this type of thought process and movement and decision. And this, uh, this was probably the most, uh, difficult moment that I had before my transition. It was, it was, it like plunged me into like this type of dark space. You know, um, I took it very personally, um, because I had so much more to offer her and I felt like I didn't have that opportunity. And, uh, and, uh, you know, so she ended up leaving y'all <laughs> and we didn't have a great separation story. I mean, she went her way and I stayed here and we didn't talk. We didn't talk, you know, we didn't talk at all. And I felt like people that were near me just kind of like flamed, put uh, gasoline on the fire. and They just made it burn more and more. And so this was hugely difficult for me um during that time this is 2020 january 1st 2020 i used to call it doomsday <laughs> now i call it bloomsday and so i'll let you know the reason why but in that moment you know during that course that period of time uh, while we we stopped talking you know i went into deep prayer so you'll hear me talking about keep it pg this is when that <clears throat> that philosophy really took place and pg just means prayer guidance um you know every time i would get in the shower i would kneel down and i hit the, the um the floor and as the water ran over me i would start to pray you know and you know i just i needed the type of guidance i needed something to help me because Whenever I spoke with, you know, um, family members or individuals, there was maybe one or two people that kind of understood where I was coming from and the hurt that I was feeling uh, because it actually went even deeper than just her. Um, there was other individuals that were a part of that that really made that even more difficult. And I guess I'm just not ready to share that on, on air just yet. <clears throat> and because of all of those influences, I felt like I was wrong. And um, I believe I was, you know, I mean, but it is what it is. But I, I do believe I was wrong. And it was very, very difficult time. So um, we stopped speaking with each other for quite some time. And I developed a feeling that she was very uh, thoughtful about what had happened because she would send me uh, lavish gifts for like my birthday or for Christmas or something like that. And uh, you could tell that she really put a lot of thought into it. Um, this is actually my last, uh, the last uh, gift that she gave me. And it says, uh, this is from this past Christmas, which we're doing really well now. It says, a prayer for my dad. Dear God, I gratefully thank you for giving me my dad. You must really love me because you gave me the best you had. Watch over him and bless him, Lord, and keep him in your care. And may he feel my love for him is my humble, heartfelt prayer. And that was by Ron Tremor. So that was a very thoughtful gift and it just shows and tells the story of how bad she wanted me to understand that, you know, that she loves me and appreciates the things that, that, um, that I, uh, that I've done for her. So anyway, 
I know I'm kind of getting a little muddy into this whole story. Um, during that time, you know, uh, I, we ended up getting COVID, <laughs> just about the whole family. And I actually, I actually thought that my youngest son uh, was going was near death. <laughs> um, I got really bad sick, and I was um, uh, held up inside of a room, and my wife took care of me. And then my daughter, uh, my youngest daughter, got sick, and uh, you know, I I was so weak. I took like um, blessed oil and I sent it by my wife, and I was like, "Hey, go in there, put this on her, and what I will do is I'm going to pray from right here." And I did, and she got well. Um, but then a few nights later, uh, my little boy, who would not uh, get away from me, this before, obviously in 2020, before there were any uh, vaccines or anything, he got sick. And his temperature reached, uh, I think it was 103.5. And I was unsure if he was going to make it through the night yeah yeah so I began to just you know I prayed a whole lot I anointed him with oil prayed some more I bathed him with alcohol and I just sat at his door and I looked at him and I'll never forget, I went down stairs <clears throat> and I was sitting outside and I said, you know, Lord, for me, you know, if you want me, here I am, you know, but my boy, you know, this is, this is tough. I mean, my eldest daughter is gone. My youngest daughter just got sick. And now I'm not sure if my boy is going to make it through the night. So um, I prayed. Then the sun rose and I walked back in the house. I hadn't been asleep that night. <laughs> and I heard laughter. My little boy was laughing. <laughs> he was all right he was fine from that point I lavished gifts on my kids <laughs> anything that they wanted whatever I could do I gave them everything spoiled them rotten <laughs> and shortly after that I don't know what it was. It was just like, I recognized that I was in like this dark place and that I really needed to get out of it. And I had been working on it for such a long time, but this was the day I needed to leave now. And it was like, I found this light inside of me, right? And when I found that light inside of me, I began to realize, you know what? I'm worth this. I am absolutely worth the best things in life. I've given myself to help so many and to do so much. And irregardless of whatever mistakes I made, I have gone the distance and the testimonies of what I've done for other people. They live inside of hundreds, if not honestly, honestly, y'all, thousands of people that I have reached in the last 20 years of my existence. And with that, I found the courage to get myself up out of the rut that I was in, to prop myself up, 
And by the grace of God, I began to go out and to motivate each and every person and to speak to them and tell them, hey, listen, you know what? No matter how bad what you're going through is, you got life inside of you. You got an opportunity. Time is still on your side and you got a chance to make the greatest impact in your life. Every single thing that you have gone through has you've gone through it in order for you to help yourself and somebody else. There is no reason for you to stay inside of a funk. If for some reason, whatever you are going through, it ain't working for you, then change the narrative. That's all you've got to do. You just got to change the narrative. Believe so much inside of yourself. Believe so much for me, believe so much in God that there is nothing that you cannot do. And I will never forget having this conversation with a buddy of mine. And we were talking about that scripture in Philippians, the fourth chapter, the 13th verse. And it was like, what does that mean? I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And then it dawned on me and I said it to him. I said, what that means is I can even do the things that I don't know I can do as long as I do them through Christ. It's like, boom, my mind opened up, the light bulb went on, and all of a sudden I could think clearly. The clouds passed and it was nothing but sunlight. And even if it was a rainy day, I would always remember that the sun will come out. What if it doesn't come out tomorrow? So what? What if it doesn't come out in a week? So what? Because there's so much light on the inside, I've got enough to be charged up and make a difference in my life and other people's lives. Because it starts with me. It doesn't start with somebody else. You can't go somewhere else looking for somebody else to always guide you but no 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 don't get me wrong now having somebody by your side by your side to help you see this is a very good thing and that individual who's by your side should always be pointing to those good things and teaching you how to become independently motivated so that's what i do now that's why the Tenacity Foundation was born. Because of the tenaciousness of myself. And tenacity means stubbornness. Don't get it wrong, you know. It's to be stubborn. To be so stubborn that you think, that you feel, that you believe, that you can possess or do whatever it is that you think you can do. And that's exactly who I am. I am a tenacious individual. I believe so deeply that I'm going to be successful with this thing that I pass my belief on to the people that work with me and they believe they're going to be successful and we believe it together. Why? Because tenacity is like a fire in the middle of dry ground. It will run. And after it finishes running and all of the weeds and everything are burnt up, we're going to plant good seed because the grounds are cleared. And when the grounds are cleared, we're going to be able to plant good seed and feed the world. Feed the world. And since then, you know, I've had some difficult times. I've had some struggles. But because of what I went through to get here, I know that I can keep on going. You know, I mean, this is this is just a beautiful time in life. That's just unbelievable. You know, it's unbelievable. I mean, I believe it, of course, because it's happening to me. But it's just like, wow, I thank God. And so uh, <laughs> I think the thing that has brought me the most amount of joy since this transition, I, you know, that's actually a hard question, you know? It's a hard question for me because um, constantly building in this program has brought me a lot of joy. Okay, so 
it's the people. First, it was um, AJ, Alonzo Jennings. When I introduced this program to him, it's like his top went off his head. He was so excited and he was so glad. He was like, this is what I've been looking for. Look him up, y'all. AEJ Foundation. He's doing something great up there in uh, Washington, D.C. area. He's going he's gonna to make a huge difference. And, uh, you know, and then it was also Anna. Uh, when I hired Anna and she started giggling and blushing, I was like, this is beautiful, you know. This is beautiful. Um, it's the people that I've that I've realized I was actually touching. I asked some people to give some testimonies so that I could add them to you know the business culture, and the people were like so glad. And then I found out that there were a lot of testimonies I didn't even know about. That's how I know that. Um, we're doing the right thing. And all of this thing, it started with me. So the encouraging word for today is, you know, don't think because life is so bleak that you have to stay that way. Everything that you're going through, you're going through it for a reason. All things work together for good. So just go through it. Take it in stride, learn from it, and then come out better on the other side. That's what you got to do. Come out better. Yeah. Let's be tenacious together. In the words of Anna, <laughs> let's be tenacious together. So anyway this is the this is the opening y'all this is the opening i hope that you all have enjoyed this it's a little something about me i guess maybe if there was an interview on the other side they might have dug in a little bit deeper but because it's only me in the studio right now with anna i got away with just giving you all some of the uh without going too deep into my life story but i think that i did open up a little something so you all can understand where Tenacity Foundation came from and why it starts with me matters so much to us here. So I'm looking forward to hearing some stories, uh, you know, uh, from from individuals. Like I said, we've got a bunch of firefighters. They got some great stories. I've heard some of this stuff. And we've got some entrepreneurs out there. Alicia Curry uh, is one of them. Varee Jenkins, another person right there. So uh, you can check out Alicia Curry on Audacious. Uh, I think it's Audacious Confidence. Uh, I don't know, Anna, if you can find that because I don't want to mess up her title. But um, if you can find that Alicia Alicia Curry, and uh, and then I'll, I'll mention, I'll give her a shout out. She definitely gave me a shout out before, so I'm grateful for her. And also uh, Lydia Liddy Paul. Uh, we're looking to have her on here with the uh, healthier family relationships and uh, Varie Jenkins with the Federation of Families of uh, Palm Beach County of Florida, excuse me, Federation Family of Florida. And then, like I said, there's we got a bunch more that we are all setting them all up to be a part of this. Uh, so we want you all out there to continue to be tenacious and be tenacious with us. You know, don't forget, please join in to the conversation uh we're working on a way where you can call in and things like that so that you can be a part of this great uh this this podcast um again it'll be airing on spotify and anchor you can download those apps in your app store or your google store and we'll soon be on the apple app too they sent the message that uh it, it should be up and running in the next 24 hours or so so we'll have that one out there too and also um it'll be live stream right so you'll be able to find us the live stream you'll be able to find us on linkedin uh, joel simmons linkedin and on youtube and as well on uh facebook tenacity foundation don't forget the TikTok, the motivatorpreneur, 
and also uh, Instagram, tenacity underscore foundation. Listen, y'all, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been uh, it's been a lot of joy. Uh, Anna, thank you in the background for all you do. Uh, really appreciate you. All right, y'all. Here's to the first episode. Peace.